Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this week, I gave you a reminder that support for Windows 11 23H2 is ending in less than a month. And support, according to Microsoft, for 23H2 will end on Tuesday the 11th of November 2025. And that will be the final and last security update an update that the OS or that version of Windows will receive according to Microsoft. I'll leave the video linked for what it's worth. Now, just to let you know that because of this, Microsoft is starting to force the update now onto 23H2 systems because it's updated its Microsoft Docs online saying, and I'm quoting, devices running home and pro editions of Windows 11 23H2 that are not managed by IT departments, mainly basically your home users, will receive the Windows 11 25H2 update automatically. Microsoft says you can choose the time to restart or you can postpone the update. Basically, you can pause the update. So if we head to Windows Update, what you're going to see is this banner appear. But according to Microsoft Docs, unlike how it, as I mentioned earlier in the video I posted earlier today, which will be linked, I just shared a couple of my thoughts regarding 25H2. Check the video out for more info. Unlike this banner that appeared on my Windows 10 device, Microsoft says it's going to update automatically. So you might not even see this banner, which means Microsoft says if we head back to Windows Update, you can choose a time to restart or you can pause the update. So basically you can pause the update until you are ready to install it. But what Microsoft is letting you know about is that because 23H2 is now reached the end of the line, so to speak, it's going to be updating your system automatically. So you, you might, so you might shut down your 23H2 system one day and then wake up the next day and you've got 24H2 or 25H2 running on that system. So I'm just giving you a quick heads up because of that. So you can just make a plan, maybe do it controlled. I always say updating using a controlled way, maybe planning it instead of just being updated automatically like Microsoft is planning to do is always a better move. So that's why I'm just giving you a quick heads up. Now, Microsoft says, if you have an eligible Windows 11 device running 23H2, you can check, obviously, if the update is available on your Windows update page by seeking and checking for updates if you want to hurry up the process. But nonetheless, just giving you a quick heads up, Microsoft is starting to force that update according to Microsoft Docs and just keeping you posted like we like to do on the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.